Welcome back for another adventure with us, Benny and Mika. We've found ourselves in the tropical haven of Bohol. This is no ordinary island, and Bohol has laid claim to some of the most unique natural wonders of Philippines, like the Chocolate Hills, the world's smallest primate, the Tarsia, an incredibly biodiverse marine life with a plethora of waterfalls and gorges to explore. So by now, if you know us, you'd know we can't resist the challenge to see as much as we can in our time here. And if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon so you're notified of our next adventures. Alright, so we've arrived in Bohol. I cannot wait to show you our room. It actually looks so cool here. The whole resort is just covered with beautiful palm trees, hangout spots, hammocks, and it's just so picturesque. But let's get into the room. This is where the magic happens. It's just decorated with so many pretty ornaments. Little lights that are on the sides of it too. It looks like we get our bar fridge. We've got two lamps, a mozzie net. Even the books. There are so many books that you can choose from too. <laughs> Alright, let's check out the bathroom. Wow. Now that is called getting clean outdoors. That's really cute with the bamboo, it's kind of like rustic. Oh wow, look, you've got the two shower heads. Oh, that's really cool. You've got the two shower heads so you can have like a rain shower. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's really beautiful. Alright, well, without further ado, I think it's time to do what we do best. Alright, so it's day one in Bohol. We've stopped off at a cute little cafe called Kiddo Cafe and we're going to be filling ourselves up quickly with some good food before we go to the Tazia Sanctuary. Look at this view. It's a pretty good start to our brunch this morning. We got a free bowl of popcorn. Can't complain. The menu here looks so incredible. It's pretty like different actually. It has like a bit of an urban food twist to it. The menu is kind of unique, but yeah, we'll see what the food tastes like when it comes out. I forgot to vlog when it came out. It looked really beautiful, but was it delicious? We got a yellow laksa curry with tofu, and I got a red curry tofu bowl with mango, cabbage, carrot, some herbs in there. It's really delicious. Can't complain with this incredible view. about a cute little arrival. We've just got to the Tazia Sanctuary. Look at these little puppies. Oh. <laughs> You're the guard dog, are you? <laughs> okay, we're going to see if we can see their mum and baby Tazia. They're so small and so cute. This is so special. Is my bag cover copied up? Gearing up, we're finally going to be going to the Nuffling 
Alright, so we're at Napoling Reef and it is 300 pesos per person and you can leave your stuff here. We've opted for renting the bins for 200 pesos per person, so a total of 1,000 pesos and the reef is just at the bottom of this cliff. I think you can rent these little bungalows to have a whole day here because it's such a beautiful spot. Let's go down there and have a little look. Well, what an awesome spot this ended up being for snorkeling. We saw a clamfish, swim with the sardines, saw some starfish, and now we have the perfect sunset. <laughs> it does look so amazing. The cloud. It's an early one this morning. It's currently 4.45 a.m. I look like a mushroom. <laughs> ben and I are about to head to a couple of waterfalls. They look absolutely incredible. We're doing it for the sunrise mission. It's cool. We just did a little mandatory water stop here at 7-Eleven. We've got our raincoats on because it's drizzling. We've got a big ride ahead of us. <laughs> Wow. 
bit slippery. I'm glad mm -hmm. I wore these sneakers. So there's some flats. Look at the views as we are finding our way to the waterfall. It looks absolutely incredible. Wow. Anyway, so we arrived and no one was there at the entrance to pay for our parking and our entrance fee. And we started right walking in the complete wrong direction and then all the locals are yelling out from their houses like up on the mountains <laughs> like, hey, this way. It was so funny. And then even these other two farmers were walking the wrong way again. They're like, this way. <laughs> so thank goodness they're here to help us find the way. It's a bit of a muddy track, but we can hear it and we have a glimpse. This looks like a very wild track that we're about to go down. This looks a little sketchy, I'm not going to lie. Oh my god. Just go slow, darling. There has been some serious thought being put into making this staircase. There is logs and bits of bamboo sticking out of everywhere. <laughs> I think we're going to need two hands for this part. Where's the part? This is the biggest millipede I've ever seen. Look at it. Dropping. We're in this big amphitheatre that just has a big crevice and we're down in the bottom of it and it looks incredible. This is what happens when you've got your shoes on but you've got a lot of mud on your butt. <laughs> Show us, let's see if it's clean. Pretty good job. Alrighty darling, well, what did you reckon about that waterfall? That was absolutely stunning. It was so beautiful. We had a little bit of a dip here in the shallows because that bit over there is thundering. You can't go underneath it. It's like a rapid. I don't think you'd want to get stuck in there. But we've had it all to ourselves, so now we're going to make our way back up and we're going to head to a different waterfall. I believe it's pronounced Mag Asal. Um, I think so. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm saying it correctly. <laughs> it does say on the Google reviews that it is close, but I did see that some other people have been going down. It should only take about 10 minutes to get down, so fingers crossed we can find our way because our track record is not going too great. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's go! You'll have to wait for the next episode to see what happens as we continue further into the jungle chasing waterfalls. Let's just say we found ourselves in a sticky situation and we're lucky to get out of there. But for now, this concludes part one of our adventure in Bohol. If you've enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified for part two. If our travel film has inspired you or given you a good laugh, please let us know in the comments as we love reading what you have to say. Also, feel free to hit that thumbs up and we'll see you on the next adventure of Benny and Mika. Bye! Bye.